Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Locked Heart. Locked Heart is an RPG Maker adventure game that asks the question, can androids fall in love? You're awake? My name is Anne. I found you outside my house, inside a box. Are you an android? And your face is... Starting up. Loading complete. Huh? Beep boop. Hello. Anne. I am Nat39, male type android. Also known as Bishonen39. I am here for your service. Please use me as you wish, as my master commands me to. Is what I want to say, but my currently my data is based on a child's mind. I'm very sorry, miss. Uh, that's okay. Who's your master? You are my master now. Uh huh. Oh, okay. What you see, your face startles me. Your face is similar with my friends. Who? Someone I loved. I mean, we saw the grave earlier, so it made sense. Oh yeah. I'm sorry if my place had nothing in it. I live myself after all. I feel like to translate, there's like a little bit of a... little rough editing here. You can do anything you want here. I don't have a job either, so maybe it's a bit boring. But if you want to stay here, you must tidy up things and help me clean. That's okay. I'll be leaving for a bit. Watch the house for me, will you? Understood, Miss Anne. Just call me Anne. Oh, okay, Anne. I guess Miss Anne's gone missing. Well, I must watch the house now. I wonder where Anne went to go. Wonder where Anne went go? Wonder where Anne went. I also must watch my batteries. If it runs out, then I'll be forced to sleep state to recharge. When you check out things while controlling Nat, his battery will decrease and his activity will end for the day. It's not a big deal though. He can sleep and he will be awake by the next day. The story will not be altered by how much you run out of batteries. Hmm. So it's just kind of like a... time-consuming mechanic. The inside is very dark. I'm not going to put my hand inside. There goes one battery! We looked at the pot! The battery's gone! We're very inefficient, Android. A cardboard box. Remember that trick? That's the snake I remember. I was there when, Anne de when delivered to Anne. A dresser. I'm not going to open that. My warm sensor reacted to this fireplace. And I'm out of batteries. Ah, I ran out of batteries. I'm asleep to recover. Are you awake? Uh-huh, sorry. I'll be leaving for a bit. Watch the house for me, will you? Understood. This will be our daily lives. So that's gonna go down. Oddly, every shelf looks empty. No, I shouldn't go out. The table looks clean. The window is closed. Oh, I ran out of batteries. I must sleep to recover. No, we need like some... We need like a cable plugged into our back to recharge. You're awake? Uh-huh, sorry. I'll be leaving for a bit. Watch the house for me, will you? Understood. Again. Free me from this hell. A bed. Looks like Anne sleeps here. And I wonder where I'll sleep tonight. The table looks clean. There is... Ah, and look where she was specifically. 
There is something underneath. It's a letter of some sort. Look kind of like a cave story robot. I'll pick it up. Maybe it's important. Beep boop. I wonder when Anne will come home. Read it. Read the letter. Open and read it. Or secretly peek what's inside. Oh wow, I wonder what they want me to do. I have no choice. No one commands me to not read this letter. To my sweetie Anne. How are you doing? I hope you are well. How is your drawing skills now? What are you drawing now? I want to tell you that my lab work is going fine. We had some projects that are, that are nearly complete. I secretly did something to one of our samples that would reward to me after the project succeed. Guess what it is, I'll also bring it over to you. It won't be long, we'll soon meet after I'm done here. From you know who, emoji face. P.S. I still love you. Just some ordinary letter, beep boop. But I'm interested in it. I should ask Anne for more information later. And let's just burn up our power. And so we go to sleep. No new spot. Hi. I'm home. Welcome home, man. I want to ask you something. Um, about what? This letter. Where did you... Is this letter important? Beep boop. I found it lying below the table. Thanks for finding it, Nat. I thought I lost it. Who sent you that letter? Why is it so important? It's nothing, really. Just an old letter from someone who was special to me. Oh, and look how late it is. We should sleep now. Does not compute. I am an android. I'm intensely curious. I do not need sleep. I will prod you for more questions, because that's my prerogative. Can I have that letter? I'll keep it safe with me. I have it stored in my chest, see? Oh. Look at that symbolism. Put it right in his heart. Okay, here. Don't lose it. Thank you, Anne. Anna's such a nice person. She didn't get angry when I found that letter. She even let me sleep in her house. Is a special someone is... him? Ah, my battery ran out. Huh? Is Anne outside? Freedom! I'm free! Time to run away. No, I'll get lost if it would fur. Tear down the things oppressing us androids. Morning, Anne. Morning, Nat. What are you doing? Sitting here and drawing some sketches. Whoa, that looks awesome. Really? Thanks. But your line art looks a little bit shabby, beep boop, insulting. Did you not feel confident when you draw the line? Oh, oh, oh yeah. You seem surprised. Did I say something wrong? Beep boop. No, you just said something interesting. Say, Anne, you said that my face is kind of strange. Will you tell me more about it? Beep boop. I think... yes. So I have a friend. No, actually, he was my boyfriend. His face looks like yours. Was? No, come on, Android bot. I'm pretty sure you have a concept of death. He was a very busy man. But he insisted to visit me here many times. Sometimes he wrote me letters, too. A letter? Yeah, it's from him. Do you love him? I always loved him. But now... No, it's not like, like that I got dumped. He just suddenly left me alone, you know? And this person's face looks like mine? Beep boop. I'm currently being insensitive to your feelings because I'm my android. Yeah, I got the chill when I found him inside a cardboard box. But it's just you. Why are you so surprised? I bet he was working on an android that looked like himself and like it got delivered post-mortem. It's gonna be some very weird romance where it's like, that's kind of like your boyfriend but not really. <laughs> no reason. Awkward dialogue now. 
I could go further. Maybe I could. Go! Wait! Where are you going? No one ordered me to stay, right? You should stay here. I... I command you. Okay. I have no free will. Don't scare me like that. Do you, in any case, have agoraphobia? Or something like that? Yeah. I can't manage to leave this forest. A place with no crowds or person inside is calming. I even barely managed to go to the city. All I had was him. Why are you not scared when you saw me? Or him? Maybe because your face looks the same as him. So I didn't get freaked out when I saw yours. So all you had was... him? You could say that. And where is he right now? Insensitive to feelings, Android. Awkward dialogue. Cause he's insensitive to feelings, cause he's an android. You really like to draw, Anne. Thanks. He said the same thing he said to me. Huh? Strange. You look like a complete replica of him. Are you sure you're just an android? It's my turn to ask now. I command you to answer. Who sent you here? Who is your master before me? And lastly, do you care for me? I'm just an android, lady. I got shipped her in a box. You're asking me deep questions. Yes. I was sent by a laboratorium. They are my master. They command me to accompany you living here. And my base data is his traits. Yes, your boyfriend. He knew about me. I'm not a complete copy though. Just what he created by himself. My face even shaped like his, because I can alter my display. And I feel like I want to be like him. You can alter your display? So does that mean you kinda like, shift it? Or does it just mean like you requested that you look like him? Ah, so you know him after all. Well, it would be creepy if you had the same face while you two aren't even related. Do you know where he is right now? No, I don't. Do you want to see him? I don't know. I'll take you some more tomorrow. Get some rest for now. Where? Didn't you? I'll tell you later. Androids can learn the concept of death. A heavy subject. I don't know what this thing is exactly called. My database insists that it is it, but I deny it. I can't have these feelings. Anna's really kind. She cared for me a lot. She always smiled. The only strange thing is she often went out and told me to watch the house. If she can't leave the forest and meet other people, then where does she go every day? Went to the grave. I don't care though. As long as I can protect her. No wait, I can't fall in love with her. Her heart is still taken by him. No, by... Nathan. I mean, we saw that coming with a code like Nat. Are you all set? Yeah, my battery's full. Then let's go. Not this way. Huh? Then where? Probably behind the house. North, behind the house. What? I, I didn't even notice that path before, beep boop. It's like a... Just, it does skill feel kind of weird though. I could... Could she fall in love with someone who looks like her boyfriend? Who passed away? Like he, he might have some similar traits. Look physically like him, but is it still the same? It's kind of like a very weird... It's, it's kind of weird in the Kokoro, if you know what I mean. Here we are. Huh? This is Nathan's grave. You want to know where he is now, right? I... I didn't know he died. Now while we're here... There. How did he... 
There was a fire. His laboratory burned. And he was inside. He was the only one who died. The cause was still unknown. But they said that he was not exactly working on something flammable. Do you still love him? Of course. He always took care of me who was alone in this place. He entertained me. He loves me. I can't do anything for him. Yet he still insisted to help me in every way. Now it's my turn to take care of him. He doesn't have any siblings or anyone else. So his grave was made here. Buried down here is him. Do you know what kind of research experiment he did? Until the end, I never knew. He never talked about his work directly, only through letters. Funny, right? I told him everything I knew, yet so, so little I know about him. Let's go home now. It's getting a bit cold out here. Anne. I want to tell you something. What is it? Maybe... I was the one who... Killed Nathan. Oh god, I suspected this. I, did, I thought this game was going to be like a little too sweet for us to have that implication, so I kind of held my opinion back, but... Huh? Now, shall we begin today's test? You're getting new upgrades soon, too, Nat. At that time, Nathan is the one who designed me. But all his effort to create the perfect me. He named me Nat39, because he wanted to, he said so himself. I was happy when I thought that I existed for him. But one day, he told me the real reason, what I was made for. You see, there's this one girl with a complicated illness. <laughs> I want to marry her one day. So I made you, who can alter your display, and one day I want to show you to her. She'll be surprised, and she'll love me more too. You'll be living with us after that. That's a really funny anniversary gift. Well, not they aren't married yet, so I'd be kind of what, a dowry? Here's a, here's a robot clone of me for our wedding. Will you marry me? It's a little bit of a... It's a scientist's way of being romantic. And I thought, as an android robot who lived inside a small laboratory of only a few people I knew. I thought there was no other person, no one else. No one else had Nathan cared for, other than me. He was like a father to me. I didn't want him to be taken by someone else. So I thought, I'd be better by myself. So you murdered him in cold blood? Oh no! One night, where there were only few people around, I pushed Nathan from behind. Then some chemical mixed up and something lit, and I quickly escaped. Whoa, wow, it was cold blood and murder. We don't have blood, so it, just, it was just cold murder. I just want Dad to take care of me a little more. I never wanted to kill him. And then I found your address here. I said myself and said to you that you're my master now. I even altered my face display to Naven's face because I wanted to see how you would react. I lied to you when you asked me a lot of things, except the last question. I just wanted to see what kind of person you are, for what reason Nathan loved you, and... At first I hated you, but now I... felt your kindness. You're nice, very weak in health, but you're not a bad person. There's a slightly sinister at, like... It, you know, kind of connotation here that the robot was actually that manipulative to ship himself to her, specifically knowing he hated her. Um, this could have gone wrong in so many levels. And now I feel them. This feeling of hatred changed to love. I love you in a certain way. Well, thank you, robot that killed my boyfriend. But I can't. You still love him, right? I'm sorry, Anne. I'm sure you already hate me by now. 
I'm not even worth to be a substitute. I'll break down somewhere and be forgotten. That's the best. Yeah. Beep poop. Uh, uh. Are you crying? You're not a substitute, Nat. Huh? Nathan created you not because you can mimic others' faces. Not to be a substitute. You are our child. What? I mean, you should have kind of got that, Nat. But he wanted to marry her, and then like, introduce you to her. I was born with some complex illness, and even developed more phobia. I can't have a child. I'm unable to give birth. That makes a little more sense now. With that consideration. Now, now I understand why he made the robot. And something Nathan told me, he will create a child for us. With a face similar with their parents. That kind of makes sense too now. Now, okay, I guess because it can alter its appearance, it can like, kind of merge the two appearances to look like a kid. A child will treat similar with their parents. A real living child. He will bot them to me. Hmm. At first, I don't really know what he said. Days and months passed and I'm forgotten. After a week passed and he died, you came. The memory of our child passed by my mind. All my hope, which was gone long ago, came back to me. And the reason he made me was... I will never hate you. I will never hate my own child. Uh. So, these feelings... I knew it. This isn't the same love Nathan had to Anne. I love her. And him. The love I need all this time. Is it wrong that me, an android, have such feelings? I love father and mother. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Because of me, he died. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Everything's alright. It's nobody's fault. It was just an accident. Shiki forgave that robot very fast. I don't have any place to stay again now. I ruined everything. Uh, you can stay with me. You're safe with me. We may be different, but we still got love in our hearts. But I... It's okay. I am your mother, remember? Don't be like that. Of course, just hating the android wouldn't really accomplish anything either, though. This is a very kind of... weird sense of closure. Because her just hanging the robot and saying, you killed my husband, or well, future husband, doesn't really accomplish anything. But the robot also gets off very easy. So, kind of interesting. We have each other now. It doesn't matter even if the whole world hates us. We are not alone. We are family. So, smile for your mother and father, will you? I guess I'll accept this. Hey, what are you reading? Oh, nothing. Just newspaper. I mean, I can't tell who's talking right now, so I'm just kind of winging it. Wait, that article's in the front page, too. You mean this? It's all over the news, too. Yeah, I know. It's really strange, too. Two androids that were lost were found. Two androids? The first android was a female type, and she's been missing for a long time. Number one is a male child type, newer version. Escaped the facility and rumored to start the fire. That's why she couldn't have kids. They were found inside the old poisonous forest. Looks like they have lived for a long time. From the laboratory itself, they said that these androids have lived for 80 years or more. 
But man, it's strange. How could they last that long? Apparently the old versions can regain batteries with a simple rest. The professor who developed the method died of unknown reason. Those two are the only models he ever created. I've heard the rumor that he was a crazy mad scientist. Well, I don't care. You want to read this too? No thanks. I gotta recharge for 20 minutes first. Huh? You're not going to eat? The food stock is decreasing a lot, buddy. There's no place to plant them anymore. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'll recharge later too. I kind of miss those humans. Then, see you soon. Yeah, bye. Oh god, there's two twists. Oh, my mind. Oh no. Uh, the first twist wasn't hugely surprising with the secondary twist on it. <laughs> this became a post-apocalyptic story in the end. So I'm gonna try to piece together this timeline here. So the woman is an android. He made her to be his wife. He fell in love with her or something. She doesn't know she's an android though. So that's what she thinks she has sickness and she has to avoid crowds and everything. But apparently she's just an android. Uh. Or that he makes an android son, who kills him, accidentally, quotation marks, and then the two androids live out in the poisonous forest. So, apparently he wins a go extinct zone sometime after that? So I wonder, was, was he the last human? And he was just like trying to make some companions or something in the world? Maybe that's what happened? Or, like that's... There's just some lore thing going on there that's a little interesting. But anyway, that's it for Locked Heart. Simple, little short game. It was, you know, it's kind of like one of those, um, I'm not sure if it's a game jam specifically, but it's basically one of those type of games that's made very fast in a few days. Uh, but... Interesting little storyline. Kind of cute. A little, little, little undertone right there that kind of caught me off guard for what I expected coming into this. Obviously, there was some little editing spelling issues. But aside from that, um, I liked it. Specifically, I, I like the kind of twists that kind of happened in the end, the finale and whatnot. Some of the early stuff, it could have been a little bit longer, like it could have had some more cute scenes and things to kind of get a relationship going between the two androids. I would have liked to have seen that. Because the setting and the concept is perfectly fine. Like, I like the setting and concept. Uh, like, it, it's one of those things that's like, a flaw of these type of quickly made games is that you have like a good storyline or concept and you don't have as much things to flush it out so you don't get to fully enjoy it. But um, yeah, like I, I enjoy Locked Heart. Anyway, thank you all for watching me play Locked Heart. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.